to be relational. Um, <laughs> if I told you how complicated that has been for my own journey, you would understand. But here I am now trying to communicate something to each of you that you should learn early in life. And, and um, when in, in the message he says, um, God came to us incarnationally. God himself became incarnate in Christ. And the message translates this, and he moved into the neighborhood. <laughs> I thought, I thought, how, how peaceful that is. And I, that's really what's happening to me and to my wife and us. We, we, we really do see God the Father in the person of Christ moving into the neighborhood. <laughs> I, thought, I thought, could I say that to our that those that could find and hear what I'm saying, I thought, yes, we can. And and uh, so I, and so then he says there was a man named John, who who wanted to tell people who to believe in, and where to find him. And uh, and I thought, God, I wish I would have known that fifty years ago who to believe in and how to find him is really, that's what the manufacturer's handbook is. And so I've come up with a kind of a thinking, which is the first order is peace and relational understanding. The second order is individualism, rampant individualism, and then conflict and contention and all the stuff that goes with that. Now, uh, first order is the peace of God. Peace is a kind of a governmental word. You don't have peace until there's some form of governing reality in us. And out of that governing, I learn how to act against myself. The, the, the other one is Second order is uh, is really pretty strange. It's full of conflict and ugliness. And so then uh, I, I'm going to take you over to a scripture that is, just kind of brings me to tears. It's Revelation. And that's a book that fascinates everyone. But here's what he says in 21.3. He said, God moved into the neighborhood. God was with man, and man was with God, and he moved into the neighborhood. And then verse 4 says, No more tears, no more crying, no more pain. And I thought, that's the cosmic conflict, learning how to live like that, in this present life, I'm not talking about heaven or hell, I'm talking about learning how to see Jesus living in the neighborhood relationally and then participating in that. And the pain lessens, the fears are dissipated, the tears cease, and some kind of new personal freedom. I am testifying that my personal freedom is increasing in a way that I want you to have it more than you could possibly imagine. Would you look at the message with me and see if it wouldn't speak to you and that you would learn how to, when all else fails, read the instruction.